Hello everyone, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing, and today I'm going to show you how to put together the third card in the series that I made from Flora Number 1. So first I've chosen my background paper, and it has that peachy color in it, and I've set that up. And then I have a sentiment that I've rounded the corners on already. I did cut them all apart. You can see in the uh, video about the collection itself that they came all assembled. And then I have a tiny strip of the paper, and I'm going to put some art glitter glue on the back of that, and then go ahead and flip it over because I want a stripe of light colored paper to sort of anchor my embellishments along the left side. And when I get done with it, it seems like the paper itself won't really show, but I knew it was there and I, I had the idea in the first place. So I'm just going to lay that out, and then I'm going to use the flowers. It's a large package I have from Flora Doodles, and I've had it for a while, so I'm not sure if uh, these exact ones are still available, but I have seen variations in stores. You could also punch them out with punches or a silhouette and make some, and put your own gems on, or you can just buy them assembled like this. So I'm going to lay them out. A variety of sizes just kind of wandering along that paper. And then I have some of my sequins in my big pack that I got at the dollar store. And the ones at the dollar store are all the same in the package. Sometimes uh, when you get fancier embellishment packages, there's a variety of them in the package, different sizes. But these will work and they're a dark enough green that they don't distract. They just add a little bit of shine to it. So I do like that. And then I'm using my pen to sort of arrange them and figure out where I'd like them. I don't want them too straight or too lined up. And then I'm just going to put art glitter glue on the back of everything. And lots of times I use glue dots for my flowers. But uh, I don't have the micro glue dots. And I haven't had the minis very long. So I haven't tested them on sequins yet. I had some bad luck when I tried to use larger glue dots and cut them down and they were a little lumpy behind a sequin. It sort of shot off the next day, so I don't recommend doing that. But the art glitter glue works really well and then the flowers work for, uh, glue dots work for flowers too. And you can see that I take the item, put it on the glue dot, and then pull the item off gently. You have to get a hold of the glue dot when you do that, so I use my thumbnail to do that. Um, and I lost a jewel on there, but I can patch that up. See, I'm just going to put some glue right back on there and put the jewel back on. And no one will ever know. There we go. And when you have this many things on there and you're using a, a liquid glue, things do slide around a little bit. So that's the advantage to using uh, some of them with glue dots is the whole area is a little more stable. You don't have such a risk of wiping it off if you're moving too fast. So then I have these larger glue dots. That's why I'm switching packages. They're on different types of rolls. So just a few more. And then I always say that, just a few more. And then I know I have other things that I might like. Ooh, that's not going to work. So sometimes you just take stuff that you have and you lay it out and you see, okay, well, will this color work? So for this card, because I didn't have any jewels that I felt were the right color, I'm just going to go ahead and go with the uh, clear ones. Uh, in a perfect world, I would have had some peach ones, but it's the peach is a little tricky to match. Um, so I, I have uh, the flowers with the jewel centers, and then I have the dark green sequins. I'm not sure how well the color comes through, but the color goes with the leaves on the paper. And then the jewels themselves, and it's just fun. You just glue them down. You kind of look at how many you can fit on there, how they lay out, or maybe you just get tired of gluing things down, and that's how you decide how many you need. Um, there's not, not a rule. It's like pillows on a couch or when you're planting daffodils or something. You just, how many do you want or how many do you decide that 
you have the energy to put on there today. And when it's not fun anymore, stop. Or when you run out of space or jewels. But you shouldn't run out of jewels. You should just get more. Okay, so sometimes when you have all the little items, they give you a little bit of trouble. And I'm just using that pick-me-up tool with the um, one end is just very pointy and the other end has a little, it's a little gummy. And there you go. That's it. We just let it dry and we're all done and it turned out super cute and not hard at all. So thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe if you haven't. You can click subscribe down below the video and click the bell next to it. Oh, but of course, I need to come back in with my white gel pen and add just a few things. So I'm just adding some dots because I have white flowers and I have a white sentiment. And I was trying to uh, bring it together just a little bit more. And then, of course, my same pen. So the Jelly Roll, I don't know, what are we calling it? Clear Star? Be careful, there are lots of these uh, Jelly Roll glitter pens, and most of them have color, so you have to be sure that you get the clear. Otherwise, if you pick up a blue pen and write on a card like this, it's pretty disappointing. I've done it. So, just a little bit of sparkle. Yeah, I'm trying to show you. But, um, the this pen does not display well on the video, so you'll just have to trust me on this. Just a few more touch-ups. There's always just a few more, right? Okay, there we go. We're done. So again, thank you so much for watching. And oops, not quite done. There's always one more. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkle to the letters. And then I'm really done. So I'm just highlighting... Um, be silly just to add a little more okay there we go thank you so much for watching